Hello and welcome back to the Melge Streaming YouTube channel. This is going to be a quick video showing you how to use text to speech with Lumia Stream. Let's get into it. Start by opening Lumia Stream. If you don't have Lumia Stream or you don't know what it is, then I'll say it again, I don't know what you're doing with your life. As a streamer, this is one of the best tools that you can have. So check out the overview video in the description below that will tell you all about the things that you can do with Lumia Stream. Now that we have Lumia Stream open, we need to figure out exactly how we want to utilize the text-to-speech features inside of Lumia Stream. And as always, we have loads of options. Let's start by just setting up a really simple chat command that will read out the user's message. Head to the commands page and make a new chat command. Give it a suitable name. Uh, I think a good one for this would just be exclamation mark TTS. Now for this, we don't want our lights to change, so we just change the type to no light change. Set your user levels accordingly to restrict who can and can't use this specific command. Go to the TTS section at the top and set it to enabled. This is where we tell the text-to-speech module what it's going to be saying, and it's where we're going to want to use variables. In this scenario, we want text-to-speech to read out the message that's been typed by whoever used the command. For that, we need to clear the message template and then put in the variable message. So click the little brackets and put in the variable message. This tells Lumia to read out the message that immediately follows the command. So for example, if I went to my Twitch chat and typed exclamation mark TTS, Lumia stream is amazing, then this is what we would hear. Lumia stream is amazing. You can start to get quite creative with this and build upon it by using more variables. So for example, you could add the username variable before the message and have something like username said followed by their message. You can do all of this in the exact same manner with channel points as well rather than chat commands. And of course, you can have this integrated into your alerts to react to things like follows and subscribers. To do that, head to the alerts tab and pick the alert that you want to add TTS to. I'll use a Twitch subscription for this example. Scroll down to the text to speech section and enable it and set the relevant message. A good one here would be to use the variables username and sub months. So to have the TTS bot read out, user has subscribed for X months. You can enable this for any alert, including Twitter followers or a song change on Spotify. The options are endless. That's all from me today. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, then please do consider dropping a like or a comment and sharing it with your favorite content creators to help spread the word. It really does help. Uh, it makes a massive difference and it's hugely, hugely appreciated. We'll be back in the near future with more tips and tricks on Lumia Stream and general streaming advice. But until then, thanks for watching.